Hey guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com uh, with another unboxing of a new tablet. That's the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. I finally got one. It's still not available in Europe. It wasn't available in Asia and especially in Taiwan. So as soon as we got over here to San Francisco, I went over to the Best Buy and bought the newest version of the Samsung Galaxy Tab means the 10.1. That's a 16 gigabyte version, uh, $549. That means it's $50 more expensive than the iPad 2, which is kind of interesting. So let's see if it's really worth it. And uh, let's take a look what kind of accessories we are getting with this new Samsung Galaxy Tab. 10.1 uh, inch display, of course, 1280 by 800 is the resolution, 1 gigabyte of RAM, um, that's the 1 gigahertz, dual core NVIDIA Tegra 2, and that's about it. So uh, let's take a look. Over here we have the power cord, USB connector, then of course the PSU. It, almost looks the same compared to uh, the 7 inch Samsung Galaxy Tab but they finally changed this adapter so they don't have to rebuild the whole CPU again just get a new adapter in there when you're shipping it to other countries and then we have the manual here who cares about this right and maybe that's why it costs fifty dollars more there's a pretty decent headset with the microphone and the volume control so uh, I'm not sure about this. Anyways, let's get rid of all this here. Uh, let's place it somewhere. Here we go. And let's take a look at the Galaxy Tab. Well, let's get rid of the foil here. There's even more shrinking wrap on the back. And wow, this looks great. I love it. It's super thin, it's very light. Uh, first impression, this feels like the very best Android tablet I've ever had in my hand. Uh, yeah, let's take a quick look around the device. Uh, there are no connectors on the left side. There's a connector for your PSU or the docking station on the bottom. There are no connectors on the right side. There's a jack for your headset, volume control and the power button on the top. And with a 5 megapixel camera, is this an LED flashlight? I think so. And a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. And that's about it. Uh, it's running Android 3.1, I hope. We're going to switch it on very soon. But what I'd like to do is right now, is how about comparing this device to its competitors when it comes to the size. Over here we have my favorite Android Honeycomb tablet so far. That's the Asus, oh, I know. Asus EPET Transformer. Sorry Asus, Asus. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Um, it's also 10.1 inch, but of course you can see it's, it, it's way wider, which is mainly because of its docking station, the keyboard docking station, so that uh, Asus was able to use um, the usual 10 inch netbook keyboard layout. And of course it's uh, a lot thicker. So now let's get them. Look at this. That's a huge difference, definitely. Uh, what about the Acer Iconia tab? That's the one over here. Here we go. Also 10.1. It's a little bit wider. Okay, let's get this in the middle of the screen. Um, a little bit wider, uh, but it's definitely thicker again. Watch out. There we go. Can you see that? And you can definitely tell uh, there's a huge difference in terms of the weight. This is below 600 grams, right? So that's that's pretty decent. How about the HP Touchpad? 740 grams, 9.7 inch display. Uh, yep, feels a little bit clumsy compared to the Galaxy Tab, and especially when we're just sticking them on to each other. Here we go. Right. That's a huge difference. And of course, the weight. Oh my goodness. This feels like from a different galaxy compared to the HP Touch, but sorry HP. Need to rub it in. Um, yeah, and finally, the godfather of tablets in 2011. That's the Apple iPad 2, right? And uh, it's slightly thicker. You can definitely feel it when you're swiping over here with your finger. 
and it's I think they are almost the same way. Both are below 600 grams. And let's take a look at it. You know what? It's, it's kind of interesting to see. It's not that much wider uh, if you compare the Galaxy Tab to the iPad 2. And let's check out the thickness again. Here we go. I guess you can see the difference. Pretty decent Samsung. That's a very impressive build quality. Uh, very impressive design for sure. And to build anything like this, being so thin and so light, I can't wait to check it out. So uh, expect our detailed review very soon. That's the new Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. I'm Sasha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching.